So the story goes on my very first day of kindergarten, I came home and announced that I wanted to be a teacher and my dad kind of laughed and said, knock your socks off. One of the things I love most about Mrs. Buzan is her ability to bring so much joy in learning. And I think that happens because she has this sincere and true passion, not just for her subject, but for the idea of learning. And she shares that with her students. When you walk in her classroom, um, you can just feel the joy. It's, it's a special place to be, and I think the students feel that. I know they do, because when I'm in there, the depth of conversations and the depth of learning that's happening in there is palpable. You can really feel it. Everybody smiles everybody's talking, the interaction that she gets from her students um, because of her love of learning uh, is really extraordinary. It's something that you, you, know, you hope to see in every class, um, but you most definitely see that when you go into Mrs. Buzan's classroom. I love Buzan. I've always struggled with English and like that type of class and I was really nervous at the beginning because I didn't know anyone who took her class and I didn't know what I was in for, but I'm so happy that I am taking her class and she's helped me so much and I've learned so much. She makes, I really remember stuff when she teaches it. She makes it fun. I have fun with her class in general. Ms. Buzan's just really helpful when, she, when it comes to someone struggling with assignments. Uh, she knows how to manage time with other students and make sure to make her around so that if you're having a hard time on an assignment or with a project or anything really, she just can come over and talk to you and just help, help you get through that. I spend quite a bit of time really making sure that the environment works. Um, I think about it like this. If you're throwing a party or a gathering um, or you're hosting Christmas dinner, ambiance is really important. It, the environmental cues let people know how they should act and respond to the environment. And I remember so many of my classrooms as a teenager just felt really institutionalized and they felt like places that were for the teacher but not for the students. So my goal is always to kind of do a little bit of both. One of my favorite projects I've done with her was the laughter project. She showed us this video of all these people in a circle just laughing and doing yoga and they do that every morning. And so she made us all do our weirdest laughs, but it was week three and we were all really shy. And so she stood up in front of the class and just started making these weird noises and making us laugh. And we typed a paper on how laughter actually helps you learn. And I use that to this day on. And that's probably one of my favorite lessons we've done. So we learned how to format an essay and do all that stuff while actually having fun and learning something in life that we can use no matter what job we do. I don't know that I've ever walked in her classroom when she's teaching um, where she's not deeply involved in a conversation with her students and they are always accomplishing something together. The feeling is kind of a family feeling in her classroom and kids want to be there. Kids are always gravitating toward her class because she sets up this special environment for learning.